Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. Today we're having a look at Russian infantry from the uh, Deus Bolt range. These are the standard Russian infantry you get in the box. Um, check out other videos for all the other cool stuff on them. Um, we have the commander which you've already seen. Uh, one big note is Russian infantry used to have bow mixed in with them. So you didn't have separate bowmen for the Russian army you had um, bowmen mixed in with the rear rank. So the, your Russian infantry would have a, a, an amount of bow that it can fire. So in Hail Caesar you get two bow shots with each unit, two attacks. Um, so that's quite useful. It means you now have a, ranged, a unit that can fire ranged. And given that an actual bow unit for some reason only fires three, it's almost as good as actually having a full bow unit, but it can actually fight properly in combat. That's quite silly, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Right, um, so these are the standard Russian infantry. Um, armed with... A uh, primary weapon for Russian infantry is a mace. Um, also a short sword. Um, a little bit longer than a gladius. Um, but was used much the same as a gladius. It was designed for stabbing. Um, so you sort of stab with the point of the sword, the sides would be blunt. Um, so you could also use it as a mace. Um, yeah, that's about it. That, that's pretty much the Russian army in a nutshell. Every soldier would also carry a arming sword, which is a self-defense weapon, um, which you draw when you're really in trouble. Yeah, which is what everyone does. Yeah, you can't kill knights with swords. You need a mace. Questions? Um, so is the standard colour red for ordinary combat soldiers? Yes. Yeah. Red so the specialised soldiers are the ones with the different colours? Yeah, it's modelled after the Roman army. Um, or Byzantine. Um, the elite troops in the Byzantine army would wear red. And so the Russians wore red. Um, not the early Romans. Uh, Imperial Romans wore multicolours. But the Byzantines went in for red um, at that particular period. And these troops, some of them, were serving in the Byzantine army. And it sort of caught on and became a thing. Um, other Russian troops would wear multicolored shields, multicolored clothing, um, depending on which city state it is you belong to. Um, so if you live in Moscow, you, you would have all different colored shields, lots of yellows and blues, and your shield would be all pretty colors and things. Um, if you fought at Novograd, it would be red. Deep red. Um, uh, Kiev, um, they're mainly blue. Ooh, I like blue. Hmm? I like blue. Yeah. Uh, so, lots of, it, it depends which state you belong to, and they, they did go in for the cheapest colour available, really. That's why the British Army wore red. It was cheap. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cheap. Yeah, the French army originally wore white, but Napoleon changed it to wear red, uh, to wear blue, because he said it was um, during one of his battles in Italy. Um, he was quite annoyed at the amount of blood that showed up on the uniforms, and so he said, "Oh, we'll, we'll have more blue instead." I thought that was interesting. The British army was red because. Uh... British Army was red because uh, it stopped you seeing the blood. No, it was red because it was cheap. Oh, without the Greeks. Uh, the, the Romans wore red cloaks for the same reason. Nah, you couldn't see the wounded officer, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's um, not really much to say about it. It's Russians, and I think we have done a video about Russians before. We've done about ten videos of the exact same. <laughs> yeah, we have. Um, so we're just showing you the unit, and you're going to see it in combat very soon. Do you want to do the outro? So if you just the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and comment down below what you think of the very last Russian main infantry. Or is it heavy? Heavy. Yeah. That's it for me. And everything from him. Goodbye. See ya.